Hi guys, welcome back to Ra's Circle Culture. In this video, I'll be going through in detail how do we commission our root lower system that is currently used in our grow out tanks and what are the things that you will have to monitor when you commission the system in terms of pressure gauges, in terms of uh, current as well. So stay tuned. So welcome back guys. So for those that are new to Ras Aquaculture, we produce weekly content on shrimp farming as well as mud crab farming, both using Bioflox systems and Ras systems. And if you would like to learn more about this topic, do like and subscribe so that you can get a weekly notification on our content that will be released on every Friday. So just a quick recap. We have actually put our shrimps in the nursery for a period of about 28 days and this is actually the current size of the shrimps right so you can see over here they are close to about 0.7 grams to 0.8 grams and we are ready to transfer them into our grow out tanks so we typically do a nursery and a grow out cycle together right the nursery is about 30 days whereas the grow out is about 90 days depending on the size of shrimps that you are looking at so before we start to transfer our shrimps into the bigger grout tank, as you see over here, there are many things that need to be prepared. So as you can see here, we have actually just topped out the amount of salt to increase the salinity to the levels that are suitable for grout tanks. Typically, we will match that salinity with our current nursery salinity so that the shrimps doesn't have to be acclimatized to a new salinity. Whereas well, you can see that that gives that tank, you know, you can see at the bottom it has a little bit of whitish powder which is actually from the residue from the salt, right? And right about now we are just about to power up the root blower that is responsible for putting in aeration into this tank, right? So this is actually what a root blower looks like. It consists of two components. The first is the motor that drives a belt and drives a blower uh, in which it pumps in air into the pipings and it goes into the tanks via the diffuse air aeration tubes right so what's really cool about this is actually we prefer to use uh, root blowers over time is because we can actually change out the motor and just change the size of the pulley to have different kind of configuration in terms of flow pressure and of course power consumption so an important consideration when you're running this is actually to you know monitor the current uh, when you are start to operate the motor because you do not want to be exceeding and over pressurizing the motor and also to take the temperatures of the motor to ensure that it's not overheating so typical temperature nowadays would be about 40 to 48 degrees celsius and we also mark up the pressure that is required to perform or to deliver right so as you such as you continue to shut off more off and constrict the flow and this is what you'll see right you get a lot of uh, aeration inside the tanks itself right so at this point you know usually we will commission the brute blower in stages we will first bring it up to a certain pressure first allow it to run and monitor the temperature and current consumption before we go on to input more air all right so in our farm right we actually have multiple kinds of aerators apart from root blowers as you see over here we have also actually used quite a lot of paddle wheels as well not just for outdoor but also for indoor farms and they look something like these so we have two types of combination depending on the kind of scenario that uh, we are targeting in terms of whether you want to get aeration or do you want to have a little bit more mixing right so as you can see over here there's no issues with using paddle wheels in indoor systems as well and this is one of of the tanks that we are about to harvest as you can see the size of the shrimps um, which is already at 40 counts uh, per kilo so no issues here uh, we could use a paddle wheels or aeration system as well so that's actually for this video hopefully you have enjoyed and for those who are new and like to learn more about shrimp farming and mud crab farming do like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get the weekly notification on our latest content on anything with regards to shrimp farming and mud crab farming so see you again Thank <laughs> you.